Experts discovered an ancient bracelet in a cave and it could change our understanding of history a Chunk of shiny green rock would catch anyone's eye especially one sitting in a dark Siberian cave and as excavators inch closer They realize that this rock has been chiseled and shaped into something a bracelet But they also know that this 70,000 year old accessory could not have been made by human beings The cave in which experts made this stunning find sits in Siberia's Altai region the least populated of all of Russia's encompassed republics and districts this lack of residents makes the Altai's natural landscape all the more stunning. Indeed, mountains jut from the ground throughout the region, including the tallest peak in the whole district, Mount Beluka. Tucked within those stunning mountains sits the cave, which has yielded a slew of important paleontological finds for those who trek to explore it. Previously, excavators there unearthed remains of a woolly mammoth, but that's not all they found. Indeed, they've dug up 66 different kinds of mammals and 60 birds. Still, the shimmering green bracelet might be one of the most noteworthy discoveries of all. Experts said it had been made with manufacturing technologies typical of humans, but they also determined that our species hadn't created the jewelry. As it turned out, the cave contained clues as to who or what had crafted the eye-catching piece. It was 2008 when excavators traveled to the Altai region of Russia, once again ready to mine the mountainous cave for its prehistoric secrets. This time they found a finger bone from an ancient being they called X woman and near to that partial digit the excavators then found two fragments of a bracelet The fragment showed that the bracelet originally had a nearly three inch diameter with its stone curvature measuring one inch wide But its dimensions weren't nearly as eye-catching as the material was made from The original artisans formed the piece using chlorite a mineral that shifts its appearance throughout the day Professor Anatoly Derevyanko, formerly of the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography, Novosibirsk, described the piece to the Siberian Times. The archaeologist, it seems, was very impressed by it. He said, The bracelet is stunning. In bright sunlight, it reflects the sun's rays. At night, by fire, it casts a deep shade of green. Derevyanko then concluded that, as such, no one would wear this adornment as a casual accessory. Instead, he revealed, it's unlikely it would be used as an everyday jewelry piece. I believe this beautiful and very fragile bracelet was worn only for some exceptional moments. On top of that, it probably belonged to a societally important individual. But the bracelet had more than two notable details. Indeed, its stunning color and fancy styling told only part of the story. Experts then deduced that the material itself, chlorite, must have been valuable to the population who created the jewelry. Why? because the stone isn't found in the area where the piece was unearthed. As such, those studying the bracelet then inferred that chlorite must have been important to those who made jewelry out of it. And experts know this because of how far the artisan would have had to travel to get their hands on it. Indeed, the material could only be found around 125 miles from the cave in Siberia's Altai region, which means a whole lot of walking. Over time, of course, the chlorite bracelet showed some wear and tear. But the scratches and bumps seem to have been smoothed away and this maintenance provided excavators with another clue Those who created the bracelet must also have had the tools to perform such a task To that end the jewelry may have had additional attached baubles to make it even more stunning Derevyanko explained how he and other experts came to realize this He said next to the hole on the outer surface of the bracelet There's a limited polished zone resulting from intensive contact with some sort of organic material the archaeologist then went on to theorize that the substance in question was a leather strap. Derevyanko went on to describe how the leather strap likely held a charm, one that was rather heavy, he hypothesized. This added weight meant that the hide then rubbed against the chlorite, creating that polished zone. This shinier area allowed experts to figure out that whoever wore the bracelet probably did so on their right arm. Still, the most surprising thing about the bracelet was the skill necessary to craft it. Derevyanko described the drilled hole that appears on the chlorite band. He said, Studying the aperture, scientists found out that the speed of rotation of the drill used was rather high, fluctuations were minimal, and that there was applied drilling with an implement. If you think this sounds more like modern construction method, you'd be right. And that's why the bracelets caused such a stir in the historical community. Its makers used very advanced methods to create it, but they did so long before humankind adopted such tools. Initially, experts dated the bracelet as being 40,000 years old, but a more recent inquiry has found it to be even older. 
Maxim Kozlikin worked in 2017 as a researcher at the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography, Novosibirsk, and he revealed the bracelet's actual age to the Daily Mail that same year. Kozlikin said, Preliminary results have been received that date where the bracelet was found to 65 to 70,000 years. These results changed the dating of the finds to a more ancient time, Kozlikin said. This made the bracelet a marvel of creation, a world-level phenomenon, as the researcher put it. And that's because the jewelry has changed what researchers believe to be the level of technologies available to the creatures on Earth 70,000 years ago. So not only did this ancient species drill into the chlorite, but they also used other tools as well. As Derevyenko told the Siberian Times, the ancient master craftsman was skilled in technologies previously considered not characteristic for the Paleolithic era such as drilling with an implement, boring tool-type rasp, grinding and polishing, leather and skins with varying degrees of tanning. Normally, such technology wouldn't have been used until the Neolithic area, which marked the final period of the Stone Age. This epoch began about 12,000 years ago and lasted for upwards of 6,000 years. As you'll recall, though, the bracelet has been determined to be about 70,000 years old, which means it was made long before human beings developed such crafting methods. So, who or what created the bracelet if it wasn't a human? Experts now have a clearer idea of what this advanced species was, especially considering the place where they found their wares. For years, the Siberian cave has been mined for its prehistoric remnants of a pre-human species called the Denisovans. The bone fragment found in the Altai cave, the one that belonged to the aforementioned X-Woman, helped scientists figure out more about the Denisovans. And that's thanks to a unique feature of the location. As the cavity stays at an average temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the bone's DNA was still intact when it was unearthed in 2008. As such, one of the study teams concluded that the concurrent appearance of humans at the time the bracelet appeared raises the possibility that modern humans may have been involved in the manufacture of these artifacts. But for now, it seems the jewelry remains credited to the Denisovans, and their existence proves that modern humans weren't always the most advanced species on the planet. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.